Jenny's. It's 9 a.m. in Beijing. Below me, eight stories underground, a tunnel boring machine is hard at work. This tunnel, currently under construction, will become Beijing Subway Line 22. The giant machine is working away while people above ground go about their lives blissfully unaware. What made that possible? I'm Liz. Today, let's dive into this mega project. If you want to build a tunnel, you need to excavate the earth, clear the slag, and stabilize the walls. The remarkable thing about TBM is that it can execute all three steps simultaneously. In the places where the cutter head turns, a strong and stable tunnel is completed. We simulate the cutter head with an iron disc and eyebrow razors. These staggered blades cover the entire cutter head's radius, ensuring the removal of every grain of sand in its path. Attach the cutter head to a small motor. This motor does not rotate fast, but delivers substantial twisting force. Apart from a rotating cutter head, our TBM needs a propulsion system. This toy dump truck will drive our mini TBM forward. Attach the cutter head system to the truck bed and power it up. Now we affix a plastic tube to create the tunnel wall at the opposite end of the vehicle. Build an earthy working environment with cat litter and magnesium powder. Activate the motor to set the cutter head in motion and drive the car forward. Now let's see if this mini TBM can dig out the earth and build a tunnel at the same time. The cutter head on the mini TBM is cutting through the magnesite blocks. Our cutter head is strong and steady. The cutter head effortlessly cuts through the magnesium powder block. And in just 30 minutes, we reach the cat litter area. The noticeably damp cat litter is causing increased resistance. Our mini TBM broke through the magnesium powder zone, yet it struggles to advance through the cat litter layer. Real world geology is far more complex than in our experiment. So if we had a TBM, how would it easily handle such conditions? This TBM is a 15 meter diameter cutter head equivalent to 10 small cars stacked together. These hard knives on top are the small blades in our experiment. They are the teeth of our TBM that can chew up rocks and soil. We call a TBM a mega machine because it can excavate earth and construct a tunnel simultaneously. It faces two key challenges, how to clear the excavated soil and how to keep the freshly dug tunnel from collapsing. The TBM has a super long and strong digestive system that can measure up to 200 meters. That's equivalent to eight high-speed rail carriages. This digestive system continuously conveys the earth to the surface, so the first problem of the tunneling task is solved. TBM is also a tilling expert. Its machine hands piece together curved cement pipe segments within the excavated tunnel, which solves the second difficulty. Digging in, slagging out, supporting and protecting, all at the same time. The tunnel is formed once the TBM passes through. The TBM can not only dig subway tunnels, but also tunnels for railroads, highways, coal mines, and urban sewage systems. According to different needs, the TBM can accommodate rectangular U-shapes and horseshoe shapes. This kind of customization is not available for TBMs made in every country. Chinese TBMs are the strongest assistant for infrastructure projects along the Belt and Road Initiative, turning dreams into reality one super project after another. In Lebanon, Chinese TBMs liberated 1.6 million locals from the expense of bottled water. In Poland, it built the longest underwater road tunnel, completely rewriting the history of the centuries-old ferry transportation system. It has also helped build subways and railroads in Denmark, Italy, and France, bringing convenience, modernization, and a sense of security for everyone. Some said, we live here three times as long since man invented movies. Similarly, we are gifted with a dramatically larger living space since the advent of the TBM, 
This mega machine silently transports so many people and guards so many lives just beneath our feet. Ooh.